The ultimate unknown besides space travel is understanding the human brain. It is the most complex organ in the human body and probably the most complex system on Earth. There are 100 billion neurons in each of our brains, which is equivalent to the number of stars in the Milky Way. And there are 500 trillion connections in a single human brain. It's really the great unknown. I, as a neuroscientist, want to treat neurodegenerative diseases, and Mark's world is therapeutic antibody development. We focus on a single molecule and how it may be playing a role in disease in the human brain. But because of this barrier between the brain and the rest of the body, we were limited in our ability to get antibodies into the brain. The blood-brain barrier is a significant challenge because antibodies in most molecules don't cross. Right. And so we were looking for some approach where you could piggyback on nature's systems to get our drug into the brain. The problem is that no one's been able to do it in a setting that is really reasonable for developing a drug. The analogy that I like to use, being a skier, is it's like a ski lift. The ski lift is the receptor or the pathway that we're trying to utilize to get molecules from the blood into the brain. It's always churning, going up and down the hill, right? And then you have molecules in the blood, which are essentially the skiers at the bottom of the hill. And the way that people previously had looked at this was they had very few skiers. And so in order for those skiers to get on the lift, they had to bind to that lift pretty tightly. But they were just getting stuck going around and around. And they never get into the brain. So the problem was, how do you get them to get off at the top? We realized that in a therapeutic setting, you're gonna have a lot of skiers. And because you're gonna have a lot of skiers, they don't have to be as fond of the lift. They just have to have a weak affinity, a little bit of encouragement to get on. And then when it got up to the top, they would fall off and be up at the top of the hill. And that was a big idea. I don't think this kind of work could have been done in other places in the world. It was the resources that Genetic provides in terms of antibody production, protein production, purification, our ability to make bispecific antibodies. We had to have one arm of the antibody that could bind to the receptor or the pathway, and the other arm that could do something functional to the target in the brain once it got into the brain. In this case, it's a molecule that is required to produce the toxic peptide that causes Alzheimer's disease. Mark's lab then engineered the antibodies to bind weakly. And my lab went and proved in vivo that that engineering resulted in better brain uptake and better activity of the antibodies. One of the nice things about this project, certainly we're trying to have an effect on this enzyme in the brain, but if we get this technology to work, you could take this approach and apply it to a lot of different medicines. And in fact, that's our dream. And I think having collaborators that will be able to take risks together. It's a lot easier for me to take a risk when I know that Mark is like, let's do this. When the two of us agree that something needs to be done, people around us may think we're crazy, but we still do it.